Welcome to the small city of Lakeview and this part we're going to have to work on food because you can see here that the amount of food being used now is rapidly approaching the amount of food that's being used. Also in the last part I built some tunnel mines over here and I, I don't really like them. I, I'm not sure how they work so what I'm going to do straight away is demolish them. I don't think they really work and you can see at the same time as I've got a bit of a stone crisis that's courtesy of my slightly excessive house building over here so I need that to work through the system but what I really really need to do is get some fields down here very very quickly otherwise we're going to have a food crisis so let's kind of lay out a road system we've got I think if we I want to put a, kind of put a road in there and extend this road out this way and we're going to get some fields in here we're going to go fields quite big time actually so we're going to go eight by 15 I think we're going to go eight by nope. 8 by 15 I think we can go 3 fields wide 8 by 15 and again I want to go this side don't know if I can get in a field this side 8 by 15 as I say I'm going to really really need to get the food situation going I think that would be enough to get going. We've got a trader coming. And the logs. Broccoli seeds, olive seeds. I think I think we'll get some olive seeds. And what well, I'm just gonna pause the game. So if we go for say twelve hundred. Three thousand six hundred and Got seventy, and if we kind of put in the twenty, yeah, four thousand. We can use the pea coats or we'll trade for the olives. Let's we'll just get that going. And we'll just get these fields built in. I also built a little bit of a pier here because I want to get some fishing going in this area. So let's just get this pier up and running. As I say, this part's going to be very much about food. And I think what we're going to do is come out. Because I think this is the problem. When the city, I mean, the city we've got coming up to 600 population, or more than that actually, about, uh, well, 800. And I think if we come out like that, I've just built that for the moment. And what I want to get down here is I think it's time to expand our kind of food crops, cows. Let's see, let's, get, let's see if we can get a 12, 12 by 20 pasture in here. So let's. Is it 12 or. No, let's go 14 by 20. Here, that, that's only gonna that would become 14 this way and 20 that way. That should get us there, and I think we'll get a uh, sheep or chickens. Get 14 by 16 across here. How, far, how wide is that? That's 14, so we can go up. Go six, 14 by 16 there. We'd be able to get some cows and sheep in there. Yeah, yeah I think food's going to be quite a major issue now. Is that they knocking this down? Yeah, it looks like that's on the way out. Um, cool. These guys are working really, really quick time now. And I think what we can do here is, if I come out, 
this way. And maybe we'll come out. To that way. Um, maybe we'll come. One, two, three, four. Five that way. And then we can get two fishing docks out here. You can see the way the food, how fast the food's dropping. And the other thing I also need to do is the uh, blacksmith is struggling a bit now with tools, so I need to. I think we're going to have to get in someone to produce some tools. I think it's the. I think this is the old blacksmith, isn't it? Yep. And what I'm going to do is get another blacksmith in up here. We're going to need to increase our tool production. I did finish off this key wall, guys, here, but I'm not totally happy with it. It doesn't seem to work. And this fishing dock's probably in the wrong place. I think what we can also do is get some more. I think we'll get some. Get some of these along here as well just to try and get the food production up. The other thing I want to do is create a bridge over here because I think it's time that we opened up this area. I'm going to go get through quite a lot of logs, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. There's a trader. So let's see if we can get in with the trader, see what he's got to offer. Coats? No. Don't want not, no interesting coats. I think one of the problems with when the city gets like this it can run away with you and I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drop the simulation speed to times two and what can we have here this is eggplants this is peas I think what we'll do is we'll get, get some wheat in here I'm just gonna let it run a bit slower this time I think we'll get some beans in here they're a very quick crop and what else can we get in here Oh, let's grow some sunflowers. And this, that's growing quite nicely. As I say, we do really, really need to work on the farming side, get this food sorted out before it runs away. And I think this is one of the key elements that you need to deal with it before it actually happens. Rice planter, let's get a fishing dock here. Probably not going to be the most efficient fishing dock, but I think if we get a couple of fishing docks like that, and then we can get a couple of. I think if we put a couple of. Is that the right way around? No, that's the right way around, isn't it? We get a couple of dock shanties here. That can. build them, them in there. And what I'm kind of a bit inclined to do is put a, maybe a, a, a kind of, we've got dock home, small dock market, dock market, dock trading post, water shrine, school, herb grower, okay, there, large dock storage. I think we'll get some dock storage up here as well. And I think we'll connect up road there. It's quite strange seeing the game going so slow but I think it's just necessary I think while you plot plan things out actually it can rough but maybe we can take it up a level as well now and I think what we can do is get I think we put an, an orchard in here or by 15 there. I mean, the housing is running away with me, to be honest. But I can't, but I don't have the resources here. You can see here we've got 369 families living in 251 homes. Another thing I want to do, I'd like to thank the person who can't remember your name, apologies, who pointed out that I've got loads of tiles. So what I want to do is actually 
upgrade one of these houses to tiles. What should we go for? I think we'll just go with one of them, just to see what it looks like. And you can see the properties here. We built this nice bridge here, and I was going to make this into an industrial area, and I still am. And we got this there, I think that can go. But I want to, we can demolish that as well. I presume these will just sit here forever because I've excavated them out. But what I'm probably going to do is put uh, another, because you can see here we're losing all our logs because of all the building I've been doing. And I think I need to probably need, if the winter comes in, is to get in uh, another. Actually, I think I could probably place it now. We can place the forester in. Mm, it's going to be a bit tight, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe if I just drop a forester in there to start with, get that built, and we can start chopping the, the logs down. I'm more interested in the logs because with the charcoal seems to be holding up the stone and logs but that's because I've just had this massive building boom. But hopefully these will get built. Just check. Oh I've lost my... keep on losing this job thing. So it's here we got 342 labourers. Right this is going to be sheep isn't it? So let's get that in Put someone there and I think we can split one of our flocks over here. Maybe that one. I mean it's gonna detract from the food in the short term but I think it'd be okay in the long term. So that's beans, that's wheat, that's peas. I think what we could probably do, actually what I should do is actually look at what am I short of, what am I not producing. Loads of candles. I don't know what I need to do with candles. Fancy furniture, fish, fruit, cake, glass. Where have I got? I've got so much stuff in. Mussels, oats. We don't have any oats. Let's let's grow some oats. And then people can have porridge for breakfast. So we'll get get some oats going there. And what else should we have here? Sunflower. I'll grow sunflowers, bamboos. Let's grow some more sunflowers. I think maybe can I get a, another field across the back here. Sorry I'm just going all out for it guys but I, I think I need to do it. That's 8. You come across 8 by 15. I think I'd rather. I know this is not optimised but this is slightly aesthetic. So apologies here guys. 8. That's 8 by 12. Maybe if we go 14. So this is a couple of not optimised fields, but I just want to kind of create the farming effect here. And maybe we'll have... We'll go 8 by 15 there. Really need a road up through here. So we'll put a dirt road through here. Maybe as far as there, actually we'll go round like that, just encircle the far field, farm field, 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 farm field. And I think we're about uh, another 8 by 15 there. Yep, I think that's, so it's going to look like a bit like a patchwork quilt. Oh, wait, that's so what fruits are we short of? Ale, apples, uh, maybe let's get some apples in here. Probably uh, what I really need to do probably is actually, let's put walnuts in here, pick that up. Plant walnuts there and I think what I will probably do is, what's the yield on these walnuts? 36% yield. Mm. Maybe it's time I needed to cut some of this. Maybe the yield on this is dropping, so let's cut that. Comes a trader. 
what you got me this time? Raspberry seeds, field onion seeds. Oh well, we'll, we'll get some onions. Onions are always good. And I think we'll just go for a, a thousand for the onions. And I've lost the top menu this time. What's up with me today? You can see here the food is dropping slowly. And I was, I've also done is looked at this statue maker. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a stone statue. I'm going to put someone in it. I'm just going to make a couple. I'm not sure why. Oh, it's two. You can drop out back. And we've got a, another field out here. And we just built some, built some field onions, haven't we? So we'll get we'll plant some onions in there. This field's open now. Let's get some beef cows in here. Whew. And I think we can probably split this one. Get that up and running. We'll go check the ah. Uh, it's being built. Still, no, nope, it's still being built. Let's short the stone. Really, really need to get the stone production up. Right, we've got a couple of fishing docks. Let's get a couple of people in here. And we get. So let's actually just kind of fill these fishing docks up. And that should cope. Oh, it's not perfectly set. Oh, well. And. So we've got another trader coming in. Sorry I'm dashing around all over the map guys, but oh we've got I've built these and I haven't got anyone in them. It's a waste of time waste of resources. Let's get, let's get people picking bats. There's the trader. Let's get into here. Two thousand leaks. It's gonna pause while I re read this. I think maybe we're got a thousand feathers so let's just get a thousand leeks and we can trade that for a, a thousand feathers gonna have to start really trading for stuff got some charcoal so let's get um, say 1500 there so if I put in 500 charcoal trade for that that would give us a bit more food um, I know I didn't say I didn't really want to do that but I think at the moment I've got don't really have a lot in the way of choice let's just check the wheat situation how am I doing for wheat Wheat, we've got plenty of wheat. How much wheat? How are we doing for flour? Let's find it. God, the list is getting so long. Fibre, fish, flour 126. I think we might need another flour mill, so I don't think we're gonna. Peas, I think we're, we'll grow some peas, get that going. Actually, let's get some more wheat in. Oh no, there's beetroots. Let's go do beetroots. Now we've got 67 farmers, wow. And it's winter now. And where did I put that? So this is here, just pin this guys. I'm aware of the time. And I think what we're going to do is, I'm going to put a road in. And we're just going to finish off. Oops, I don't think I've got to do that. That's why you can come out like that and cross over. And I think where the forester can be that way. You can come that way. I think we'll just get a gatherer in. We might as well get as much of food capability in here as possible. So no, that's a small gatherer. Gatherer's hut.
so we'll get a gatherer in here. Uh, we got that. Let's get a hunter in. Oops, for some reason the hunter doesn't want to fit in. I think we'll just put a hunter there. They can pick up that. And do I want a charcoal burner in here or firewood? So we got this guy here. I think what we'll do is we'll get a small storage farm in, in, in as well. Just to keep the trend going. Get a barn there. Do I want a... Yep, I think we'll put a stockpile in. Actually, charcoal, charcoal. No, I don't think I'm going to put charcoal. I think we've got enough capacity with a charcoal burner. I think what I'm going to do is just put a small, say, 5x5. Five five. Put a small 5x5 five five stockpile in there. I'll leave that space open for a charcoal burner if necessary. But what I really want to do is is get a log supply in for building. I think I think we're okay. I think our charcoal capability is doing quite well. In fact, what I could do, let me just check. Just a need because I was producing loads and loads of reeds and I wasn't actually doing anything with them. So let's just have a quick look at that. I think this is one of the problems. Yeah, we've got 3,000 reeds. Now, there is a way you can make fuel. And I've got to try and remember where it comes from now. Um, what's it called? I think it's called a bundling shed or something, isn't it? Uh, small refinery, fuel refinery, our grave, masher, stack burner, bundling shed. Bundling shed gathers food and cuts it into usable bundles for fuel for fires. Okay, let's put a bundling shed in. Don't want to put it there. Maybe we can we get it in this corner here? Nope. Okay, maybe we'll just put the bundling shed in there. Whoops, nope. That didn't work. I want that. We're going to get a bundling shed in there. So we can start turning these reeds in into something that people can use for their fires. So it'd be an alternative to the uh, charcoal. And he's already made. Why have you, you don't have resources? We actually made a statue. Okay, let's turn you off. Have you made a statue? Sugar cane, sugar cane. No, nope, no statues. We'll look into that next time, guys. So the food is running along quite nicely. We've got this area being built up. We've got the stone farm there. We've got this area will grow up as a new forestry area. Kind of half thinking about making what we got here we got this is a kind of forestry area here because what I'm kind of thinking of is making what's got a field here let's just put some broccoli in there because the broccoli is always good for the digestion as the, I don't know about you guys but my parents were always telling me about you've got to eat your vegetables and I think what I'm kind of half thinking is uh, another industrial area here tucked in this corner with some mines maybe another uh, tool producer and that can feed into this area here and then over here we will have another forestry area but I think yeah let's just get the forestry area in and then that's where I'm missing I'm just gonna pause again guys so let's get another Forester's hut in over here, Forester's Lodge. Maybe if I come this way a little bit, turn you round. So you're there. And see if we can get. Gotta find.
find him. Let's just pin him. Put it there. And you can just come through like that to about there. And the road comes in about put a road through like that to there. And let's just get there. I'll just do this whole lot and that's where I'm going to wind up. Sorry it might be a bit short. And I don't know if you've actually noticed from the tone of my voice that I'm slightly rushing this. And it's, I think it hasn't been a good day. It's My whole schedule's been shot to pieces courtesy of my daytime job. In the sense that no consideration but they me to do something in a rush and, and I had to get it all done so the time I would normally be recording has actually been used to do my daytime job. <laughs> I know I should be saying that guys but that's the way it is sometimes and I think put a hunter there and again I think we'll put another a gatherer in there to see if I can yeah why is that not what was that there okay let's turn this this way I think I've messed this up guys I'll put a gatherer there it doesn't have to be perfect anyway I think it's, you need to min-max when you first start out, but I think once you've got the city to this level, I think you can relax a bit. And I think we'll put another... I think I'm going to put a stockpile out about here, actually. The bridge comes in, the road comes in about there. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of put a stockpile... I'm going to put a stockpile on this corner or small 6x6 stockpile there so they can harvest the logs and then just deliver them and of course we're going to have to put some houses in but uh, I will do that off camera guys because obviously stone is in short supply and I need to get that sorted out actually let's put the houses in up here so we got that actually we could put a couple of farmhouses tucked in here might be the like that. I'm going to get this area built up. So that's two forestry areas. The food is looking a lot better. We could probably just drop in some more kind of I think we could probably put in these along here just to improve the seafood diet this is working well this is growing up and let's just check that orchard that I cut down yeah so that might actually improve let's just check this that's got 0% yield 2% but we need to wait for the autumn to see what get the yield from that and then we might chop those probably we'll need to put some more domesticated stuff in as well let's just check how many domesticated animals have I got domesticated dress 1000 actually it's, it's trade items trade items let's Inventory, domesticated animals. Oh, someone's just died in childbirth, that's unfortunate. Domesticated animals, let's put, let's get 50 domesticated animals. What can we trade the domesticated animals for? 250, yeah, we're gonna certainly gonna get some 50 there. Let's get, oh, this is the dock, and we'll put. Let's get some domesticated animals in here. 
and maybe we'll just put 15 in here don't think we're going to need that many and that will mean that I can use domesticated animals for trade maybe it's time to pick up some trade animals uh, animals 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 God, my English is quite bad at the moment and I think uh, let's have a look round. Quick, quick look round, guys, because one of the things that you really need to do is go in and look at the city and appreciate. And I think I'm just going to slow it down a bit so we can, so people are walking round looking like normal. I've got this lovely though. This back-to-back -back houses. I mean, they are very, very kind of Victorian. And the stone shortage. I'm probably because I put down too many of these paths. Uh, clove limits, I think maybe you need to go up to say about 750 linen and wool, let's, let's change this actually have I got any cured? let's just have a quick look at this have I got any cured leather? yep I've got 65 cured leather ok, I think I was using cured leather over here wasn't I? Why? Uniform maker, silk and linen, cured leather and cloth. Let's put, let's get that, get him making some of that for the moment. Then we'll come back to our guy here. Full coats. I think you can. How much cloth have we got? Let's have a quick look. Actually, how much wool have we got? Oh, we got so much wool. Let's just, just use the wool up a bit. Linen and wool. I think we'll just do some wool coats for the moment. Get that going. And I think also, while I'm thinking about it, this is still being built because of the stone shortage. Great. I think maybe we need to... See, you're, not, you're struggling to maintain. Who's this? You're a carver. Oh, that's okay. Oh, uh, I'll just knock you off the carving list. And I've lost my centre on my population. I think we can just demote you for the moment. That gets rid of him. What is this? Oats. Oh, that's cool. As I say, sometimes you just want to stop and look at the city um, or the town. It's growing up quite nicely, the walnuts are coming back. I've got lots and lots of sand. God knows why I've got so much sand. I, I think I need to stop. What's the. Let's check to see who's producing sand. You're digging clay. You're digging clay. You're digging sand. Stop you digging sand. Um. I think, how much clay have we got? Let's just check on the clay, crayfish, corn, cloth, clay, we've got, we're a bit short on clay, probably because we're producing lots and lots of tiles, so maybe we need to get you on clay production, and let's check this house, oh, that's, so this, so this upgrades the house, and makes that, oh that looks quite cool. It doesn't fit with this though, does it? So we need really need to upgrade this as well, so it becomes a brick-fronted house. Oh, does it fit? Because this has stayed the same. It's just got this has got a brick front. Now I think we'll upgrade this and see what that looks like. And what I might do is just mix them up so they don't look quite so uniform. Got a trader come in, and I think this is where I'm going to leave it now, guys. Uh, got the domesticated animals, we don't have any transferred yet. Herb bread, kitchen soup, coarse bread, cheese bread. Now, I think I'm going to pass on that. I think we've got enough food for the moment. What on earth am I building here? I don't remember builders. Key barn, key barn, and a brewery. brewery. Oh, I think I put this, yeah, I mean, I put this in just for an aesthetic look over here. 
Um, um, I think, to be honest, to get the real effect for keys, you've got to basically build them right out into the area here. These are driftwood scavengers. Uh, you actually produce it. Oh, you found a few logs, 28 logs. You're not particularly the most productive guy around, are you? But why not? It's all part of the process. This has been still being built. You guys are fishing. Yeah, you're, you're building up. And I mean, I could clear cut this area out here, but I, I just don't like the idea of clear cutting now. Maybe we can. We'll, we'll clear cut a little bit, guys just to get our log situation a bit better I mean this is our our village up here so we're, we're clear cut through here actually maybe a bit more maybe we're kind of do this whole area and I'm just going to do the trader and then that will be definitely the end for this part guys what do you want to trade? Pumpkin seeds and rye. Um, we need pumpkins. Rye is a form of wheat, and maybe we can trade for that. I don't have any domesticated animals at the moment. Charcoal's a bit low, so we we'll get barrels of charcoal and. 500 we get no we need a bit more let's actually go to 1100 getting a bit low on trade items here guys have to be oh, that's 3000 trade for that I've got to work on some trade items now guys although to be honest the city's getting a little bit unmanageable now we've, we're getting we've got 98 children I think the population is slowing down because we're not actually providing all the housing for them which in some ways is that 401 families so we've got 104 shortage of 140 just have a quick check so they must be living somewhere so anyone living in barracks no nope. so Houses must be absorbing the population. Yeah, we got here. We've got an 18 and a 24 year old living, and that's what's actually slowing up the population a bit. But I don't really, really want to go into a housing boom just at the moment. I mean, I'd love. I need to get this food and resources sorted out, and then we'll, we'll let the the city build much out a bit more get these forestry areas up and running but i think this is where i leave it guys i've gone over time hope you enjoyed the episode sorry it was just all about food and things like that why is this guy got questioning brewery oh well we'll see what we can make what can you make ale from hunted mead I'll just put you in there and you can brew up some booze just for the fun of it I mean, I don't know how much honey I've got. Probably not that much. We could probably do with putting another um, apiary in. Honey. Yeah, we've got no honey at the moment. Obviously, honey is very popular. Maybe we can put an apiary down here somewhere. Just to annoy. In fact, this field's here, isn't it? <sighs> so, let me just do this. Beekeeper. food refining, this, this, that doesn't come under this, would be beekeepers here isn't it? Apiary produces candles and will that fit in just behind here? Yep, that would fit in quite nicely. I know I'm overloading the system again but I think that would be quite useful to have and this is where definitely where I'm going to leave it guys. I've gone over time and I know I've tried to stop twice 
this is definitely where I'm going to stop now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. Uh, hopefully I will get this food situation under control. And why are you... Yeah, 4,000 log limit. So, oh no, it's this guy. Fuel limit. Stack burner. Was it the forester? Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.